I suppose most of my working life has been motivated by one big idea, which is that we, with our human brains, can understand more and more about how we came to be here and the world around us. And I've been very lucky to be able to spend most of my career as a scientist working in the university, working on the cosmos as an astronomer. And when I started, we had some vague ideas about our universe. We didn't know if it went on forever or whether it uh, started with a big bang. Whereas over the last 40 years or so, we've learnt about how our universe evolved from some very, very hot, dense state right at the beginning to its present state, nearly 14 billion years later, when we look around us and see galaxies and stars, and we know it on at least one planet, namely the Earth, around at least one star, the Sun, life evolved. So I'd like to say that the big idea that we have now is that we can put our Earth in a cosmic context of evolution just as Darwin in the 19th century showed how all life on Earth originated from some simple beginnings. We can now go back before Darwin's simple beginning and understand how the Earth itself arose and the atoms in it and trace things back. And I think this is a wonderful uh, concept and I've been very privileged to be working for 40 years trying to understand this and when I think of the huge developments in the 40 years, then I'm very excited that in the next 40 years, when I won't be alive, I'm sure, uh, people will understand many of the questions which we couldn't even pose 40 years ago, but are now posing but can't yet answer. Like, what will be the long-range future of the universe? Is physical reality bigger than what we can see? And the most important question of all, is there life out there? Or is life really special to this small Earth?